You see that entitlement mental. I see it. That's the reason some ladies are not in any relationship. Let me look at your neighbor and say to them, nobody owes you anything. No, you didn't say it very well. Maybe because you don't believe it to yourself. <laughs> I want you to say it very well again. Say to them, respectfully say, particularly if the person is older than you, add sir or ma to it. Say, sir, nobody owes you anything. You know, I hear things like, you won't believe my uncle, he could help me. But he didn't help me. He does not owe you anything. Uh, my, my parents, my parents, they will not help me. They will not do this. They will not do that. Even when you are 30, you are still referring to your parents, not helping you. They don't owe you anything. Maybe that's why people run away from you. Because you just have this mindset of they owe me, they owe me. You just have this. An entitlement mentality makes people misbehave. You go to a restaurant, somebody offers you food. To pay for your food, your friend offers to pay for your food. You're supposed to ask him to either do his own first or just use sense use what if you don't use sense it will give you sense you just order for everything that was how i read recently about a lady who went out on a date with a guy for the first time for the first time she got there ordered for ice cream ordered for that ordered for all manner of things that she could not have bought if it was her money. When she was done. If I remember the story myself very well, I think the guy just ordered for meat pie. And when the bill came, they brought the bill. He said, no, I just ate meat pie. You pay for what you ate. I, I pay for pay for what I had. Say, no, what? You brought me out on the day. Did I bring you out to come and kill me? I mean, must you eat three days meal in one day just because you are not the one paying? You see, that entitlement mental, I see that that's the reason some ladies are not in any relationship. No, I'm serious. You hear things like, no, I, I, I can't be with that guy. Why? It's stingy. Why is it stingy? He can buy me ice cream. He can buy me whatever. Then buy yourself ice cream. A relationship is not for buying, 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 buying. Praise God. I'm not saying that the guy should be stingy. But I wouldn't be in a relationship where all the lady wants is things I can buy. You're not yet in my house. I've spent half of my salary. Oh, when you now come, what will I spend? For me, it's a red flag. If what you are looking for in our relationship is what I can buy. What happens if life happens? If life happens, you can't stay. And you hear ladies talk about this guy doesn't have a car. This guy that I, I can't date a broke guy. How old is the guy? 23, 24. Maybe you might want to go home and ask your dad what he had when he was 23. Praise God. And by the way, you are that same age yourself. Why have you not acquired it? Praise God. entitlement mentality believing that somebody owes you something it's the same thing in the church sincerely I don't like going close to people who have that mindset entitlement mentality two 
people have not spoken in a while, don't you realize it's because both of them have not called each other? But no, you pick up your phone, you begin to whine, you begin to shout, you, you've not heard about me one month, you didn't call me. I'm sorry, if you had called me, we would have talked. Yes, I didn't call, but it was also because you didn't call. Do you know what I'm going through? Do you know this? this is... Sorry? Do you know what I'm going through too? <laughs> By the time you're done telling me what you're going through, you will realize that I went through a lot more. <laughs> and while you were waiting for me to call you, actually I was trusting God for you to call me. What's the problem? Well, I just want to let you know that this friendship is over. Thank you. You call the call. You do what? I, at this phase of my life where I'm growing and climbing higher, I don't need weights. Fellow travelers don't complain. Let's all be traveling together. If you're traveling like me, you will know that all of us have issues we are dealing with. Why is it you will make it look like the whole world must report to you? So you have not called me. I'm not coming to church again because you have not called. Have you called me? Pastor has not visited. Have you visited me? I mean, what I'm not saying that people should, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you should not, we should not do those things and it's normal for you to go oh, so that we can check. Maybe we don't even have your name. Maybe something happened. So that's beautiful. But when it becomes an entitlement thing, where every, the world must worship you. Eh? The world must, must be dancing around you. No! It doesn't happen anywhere. Not in a family. Not in your office. Not anywhere. And if you continue to carry an entitlement mentality, all the people that should help you will click ignore. It's important. Friends must let go. I see it a lot with young people in our generation. Believing that people owe you something. You asked me for 10,000. I was able to give you 6,000. But because it's not complete. There's no thank you. I know my children know. If, if I give you 1,000, you must say thank you. Not because I want his thank you, but I do not want him to grow up with the affirmation of a bad character. I do not want him to go into his future thinking that it is right to let people know that you are not happy because they didn't give you everything you asked for. In actual fact, they could have said to you, sorry, I don't have anything to give you. The person that gave you 1,000 naira did a lot. You know, my, my people used to say, that when we ask you for money, your face will just squeeze. I said, it is unintentional. It is what? So I spoke with one of them yesterday on phone, and they said to me, Daddy, I now know why your face squeezes. I said, why? He said, I, um, I know the difference between the money I earned and the money I was given. He said, the money I earned. He said, nobody can collect it from me. <laughs> How many of you know what I'm talking about? Huh? Not many of you? Uh, okay, many of you still collect money. Husbands, it is natural. They ask you for money. Your face will just rearrange. Do you understand what I mean? Now, it is out of that money I managed to squeeze out something to give you. Then you go whining, saying, I asked him for 10. It was only 3 he gave me. If I hear about it, I just call you back. Say, bring that, let me add to it. And if you are stupid enough to return that, you go empty. You go empty. Entitlement mentality is a spirit that you must kill. If you must rise. And if your friends have been complaining about you. Maybe something you need to watch. If they are telling you that guy. Guy. 
Ah, it's not good. Watch it. You, you use the shoes of your friend. You use that shoe. All of you earn the same thing. But you never buy a shoe. You never buy a shoe. And you're, in your mind, you're looking like, I'll use this one shoe when it wears out a little. We use that one shoe. And you don't buy a shoe. You're actually not smart. You are very stupid. Do you know what I'm talking about? You wear this one shirt. You wear that one shirt. You wear... In fact, when they, it's not just that they will wear those shirts. They will carry it to their house. Say, guy, let go. You know. Uh, all the shirts in your hand is one one from each friend. And it's not that you don't have. It's an advanced display of this entitlement that they, they owe you. They don't owe you anything. And please listen to me. If you have somebody in your life, no matter how close, including your sibling, are you with me? They have entitlement mentality. Someone curry to tell them, sir, or as if they're older, if it's younger, let them know. I don't owe you anything. All of us are trying to rise. 